What's up, y'all? It's your boy C coming back at you with another episode of C's Retro Garage from the man cave in outer space in the freed state of Florida, bringing to you another video game review the Atari 5200, another gem that I picked up on the cheap. Popeye the Sailor Man! <laughs> Now, you can't really go into any type of history about Popeye the Sailor without actually going into the history of Popeye, if you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, Popeye is a piece of Americana. Uh, Popeye was originally a comic strip in the Thimble Theater back in 1929. Um, from there, you know, that's where uh, it evolved and to in 1933 when Max Fleischer adapted the Thimble theater characters and Popeye the Sailor was born uh, is a series of cartoon shorts for Paramount Pictures uh, that carried on pretty much forever and it was uh, you know <laughs> as they say the rest was history um, there was a live-action Popeye movie in 1980 starring Robin Williams, God rest his soul, as uh, Popeye. Uh, and if you were three years old like I was, you quite enjoyed it. Um, the uh, storylines through Popeye tend to be inconsistent through time. Uh, you know, he the only one thing that is consistent is the love triangle between Popeye, Olive Oil, and Brutus. And she always goes for Popeye. Uh, then some stories, Sweet Pea uh, is his Popeye's legal ward, and others, uh, she belongs to Olive Oil, so we don't know who's hitting that scrawny uh, thing there. And then, of course, in the movie, you're led to believe, well, that it was the child of Popeye and Olive Oil. Uh, but uh, it is a historic piece of Americana. It has uh, somewhat been lost a little bit uh, through time, although I do believe, as uh, someone had told me, that there was an attempt to bring it back, where it actually was brought back as a online series, which I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, because, yeah, why not? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, but with that being said, we go back to the game. Now, as far as the game goes, it's pretty simple. Uh, now, depending on your point of view, yeah, the graphics were a little bit nicer in the arcade. No question. They generally were. But the gameplay of it for the home version was pretty much the same. Uh, again, barring the controllers for the 5200. Uh, you are Popeye, and uh, there's three screens. And all well throws you hearts in the first one, musical notes in the second one, and the letters H-E-L-P for help, or if anybody remembers from the Jetsons, HEPL. Um, and as you collect them and you complete the the number that is allotted uh, you will have rescued olive oil or you would have gained her love per se uh, through this time Brutus is chasing you down throwing cans of I don't know what the hell he's throwing at you uh, there's also bad guys that like to uh, throw these same uh, foreign objects at you as well and yes there's times where you will get your spinach and once you get your spinach uh, you know, you get your strength, time stops, which is great, and you get to beat the crap out of Brutus and uh, get a few extra hearts, you buy yourself a little bit of time. That's the, the really great part about it. Um, it 
does resemble to a degree uh, Donkey Kong a little bit of Donkey Kong a little bit of Mario Brothers a little bit of Kangaroo uh, remember this was the early 80s a lot of these arcades somewhat shared the same platforms uh, so yeah there were similarities in in the play and the way they were they were designed uh, but all in all it is an arcade title uh, which was I think honestly the intent of the Atari 5200 at the time was to bring arcade titles more closely related arcade titles home uh, something that the 2600 uh, failed to deliver in a lot of cases short of just the name of the video game itself until a uh, little company called Homebrew thank you guys um, for those of you guys who aren't familiar Homebrew has tweaked a lot of classic games and made them better they have managed to maximize the crap out of the chips and the Atari 2600 as well as uh, created some new games uh, so you can find those uh, here's a shout out at atariage.com and uh, take a look there and see uh, see what you like I'm gonna warn you they're not cheap but this is a uh, you know brand new stuff proprietary stuff and this stuff is never cheap uh, so uh, that said let's get into the game all right Let's get our game on. All right, so let's go for it. Stop. Right off the bat, what the hell? The color looks way off. Let's uh, do a reset. Play with the cartridge. Hold on one second. All right, let's game. All right, and let's go right into it. And of course, Bluto's gonna run around the screen and do his thing. The objective of the game is to get these hearts. If you were to look at the top left hand there, you'll see that square where you're collecting the hearts. You're trying to win all of Oil's hearts. And yeah, these guys are going to throw stuff at you, and you can occasionally get the spinach and go whoop some ass. Uh, it doesn't last long, it does freeze time, and there's Bluto really trying to chase me down. As you can see, it is a bit of a combination always of Donkey Kong meets Kangaroo meets Mario Brothers. And you just kind of rinse and repeat a lot of the process. Shit, I missed that ladder right there. Oh, why did I do that, man? The spinach was there. Sometimes the controller just kind of gets the better of you. Remember, it is a 5200. Uh, so, let's see if we can get that spinach. Nope, that wasn't it. Is that a killer heart or what? Didn't look like a can of shit to me. Eh, wait for him to come by. It's all about timing. Oh! And he fell right on me. Let me see if I can catch him. See if I can do it real quick. Oh, shit. When you ring that bell. The good thing is because you're the smaller guy, you run faster. The bad news is when he decides to unload on you, it, uh, it doesn't end well unless you had your spinach. And he's coming for my ass. Your only real refuge is that top platform where it does wrap around. And right now it's just, again about timing. It's all about getting those hearts. 
go down, don't let him hit you. Not, not for lack of trying that he won't. And I got nailed, I don't get it. I didn't see anything fly across. So anyway, eight more hearts and you should be able to get the olive oil. But of course, you know, Bluto's not going to make it easy for you. Okay, chase the hearts. Chase the heart. Catch the ladder. Good little slick move there. Now I can go whoop some ass. Time stands still for you. You can chase him down and beat the shit out of him. He fucking deserves it. Take that, you fat bastard. And then you get rid of him for a little bit. But of course he comes back. But at least you get your, by yourself a little time before he comes back. Which he will. And two more hearts. That's all we need. Let's see if I can get it before he starts launching cans of shit. Got it, baby. And that's how you clear stage one of Papa. Alright, so here's stage two. You can see it does change little by little. Um, but the objective is still the same. So now she starts throwing down the little music notes for you. This being your only refuge here, of course. Uh, the difference is with this one, you can go up and down. I'll pause it right here. Let's do the review. This is an arcade classic. And as I like to say, classic... Classic, uh, thanks to time. I wouldn't say it's iconic. It's not Pac-Man. It's not Donkey Kong. But it is an arcade classic. It is a classic video game. It is a very cool video game. This is a great $7 I spent. At least I think that's what I paid. It's like 7 bucks, uh, 7 and change. Um, this video game is worth the $7. This video game is worth the $10. This video game is worth $15. Let me put it to you that way. Um, it is an arcade classic. It is a must-have for a collector. And it is a must-have for the casual uh, gamer who is uh, into retro gaming. So if you see Popeye, definitely pick it up. It's worth 15 bucks. Um, chances are you'll never pay $15 for it. Uh, and if somebody's charging, you can probably find somebody else that will charge you less for it. Um, there's plenty of them out in circulation. Like a lot of the uh, ported 2600 to 5200 game games that were out there. Uh, so it's not uh, not hard to find. But uh, if you do see it, pick it up. It's definitely worth the money. And it's a piece of history. And that was the review for Atari 5200's Popeye the Sailor Man. Always remember, uh, if you find this out and about, 15 bucks tops. There's so many of them in circulation, though. You shouldn't pay more than $10. $15 would be just a like, spur of the moment thing. Any more than that, walk away. But definitely get it if, if you get the chance. It is an arcade classic by time piece of history. And uh, you might as well. Because classics like Popeye who will always be strong to the finish because he ate his spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Boop, boop. Will one day probably be erased thanks to the... Uh, leap of time so uh thanks for checking out this episode of C's retro garage um hoping to do a review on another thought of dud for the 5200 Coco bongo if we can get it to work uh but until then it's your boy c telling you stay safe be kind one to another peace out